Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 22 in chapter 17. Chapter 17 is about temperature, thermal expansion, ideal gas law. So there we have a sphere, uniform sphere, and then we need to determine the surface changes with the linear expansion, right? Thermal expansion. So let's see. For the sphere surface, we can see the 4 pi r squared, no problems, right? And then it expands to this blue part, the new redness become R plus, right? And we know the delta R is the linear change in the redness, and it tells us this is a coefficient of a linear expansion. So for this way, delta R is R times alpha is the coefficient of a linear expansion alpha, right? Times R times the delta T. And this delta R is R plus minus R the final uh, redness minus initial redness. So from this equation, we can write the function for R plus from this one to this one, agree? Yes, now let's write the uh, sphere surface for the uniform solid sphere with the new redness R plus is a four pi R plus square, agree? Yes, and then we input R plus inside we can get function look like this one, right? Now let's find the um, change of the surface areas for this sphere. So the change is delta A equal to A plus minus A. So in this way, we can see we write the delta A inside. So this one inside and this one inside. And then we get function look like this one. So this function for simplify we expand it and do some calculations. We can get it looks like this way. And you can see this is dirty square. We know dirty is a small and dirty t square becomes much more small. So the technique, our routine technique is to drop it because it too small can be ignored. Finally, we get the function look like this one, right? The next one tell you the quantities, the numbers, tell you the radius 0 0.6 meter, the delta T is a final temperature minus initial temperature is there, right? And the coefficient for this uh, uh, for this solid sphere, we can see what it is, arrow. So this is materials. Check your textbook, you can find this alpha for the arrow at zero. And input these numbers inside, get the data as a number of this one. Thank you.